Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Draft2 Digital. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're looking for a way to publish your books without incurring too much cost, or if you're just getting started on publishing your books in one platform, well, Draft2 Digital here can actually help you. So Draft2 Digital here is a self-publishing platform, which in this case, you'll be able to, you yourself, publish your own book through their platforms to different platforms like Amazon, Kindle, or other uh, platforms out there. Now, in this case, we first have to learn what is Draft2 Digital. Now, Draft2 Digital here has or gives you the capabilities on formatting, publishing, and promoting and tracking the sales for your book. So maybe for ebook or whatever here, you could basically track it in this website here. Now, also, they actually boast uh, the capabilities of publishing this to different platforms. So you have a lot of means on reaching out to different types of customer. So maybe uh, from a customer that is from a competitor website or for ebooks or whatever, you'll be able to basically publish that into that platform. Now, how does things actually work here and does it actually cost you uh, anything? Well, the thing here about Draft2 Digital is you could just basically publish your book here for free the only thing that you'll need to pay here which is uh if you're going to ask me is you'll be indirectly paying them because from the sale itself they will take uh, around 10 percent of the retail price of that book when you make the sale so they will uh, get 10 percent of the sale that you get from that book or from that product so it's uh if you're thinking about it it's kind of free <laughs> if you're going to think about it so yeah, how do we actually get started? Well, signing up is actually pretty easy. So go to your website, which is Draft2 Digital here, and click on sign up at the top right. Now, once you click on it, it's going to ask you some information about yourself. So that includes the first name, last name, so default pen name here, which is optional, and the email address that you want to use, as well as the password and confirmation of your password. And if you want to receive news and marketing tips or tricks here, you can make make sure that you add a check box, uh, check next to the checks box here, and uh, make sure that you're not a robot here. So in this case, let's go ahead and fill out all the necessary details. Now you also have to accept the terms of service here. Go ahead and ex click on accept and wait for it to load up. Now it's going to say, please check your email confirmation link here. So let's go ahead and go to our email here. Since I use Gmail here, I want to go to mail.google.com and I want to look for Draft2 Digital and click on confirm your account to confirm our account and we should be able to start logging in. So let's go ahead and enter our email address and password here. And now we are now locked in into Draft2 Digital. Now, the cool thing about here is what we need to do is uh, we just first have to basically, uh, uh, basically know more about the UI here. We have our account here, which in this case is going to showcase or show you account details, reports. If you've uh, made sale on different platforms, you'll be able to see different reports here about your account. Now, if you want to start uploading your books here, click on add new book here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to start an ebook or start print book here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on start ebook here just to give you an example. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically fill out some information. So first is going it's going to ask you, uh, do you have like a cover art yet? So if you have one, make sure I have front cover art here. But if you don't have one, go ahead and click this one. And from here. It's going to suggest you to go to this following website here where in this case you'll be able to find your own book cover but if you want to uh basically upload your own you could basically uh upload your so in this case you could go ahead and click on browse here and choose your uh cover art now in this case you just need to fill out all the necessary details here so that includes the book title the series publisher which is your name here author name so you could also choose a new author here if you want to you have the search terms, volume number, and language. Now we also have the filter B I C A C S. And from here we have the prioritize and the subject list here. Now once you fill out all the SR details here, what we need to do next is just click on start ebook here and it's going to start publishing it to different platforms. 
So yeah, so those are the basics on how to use Trap2 Digital here. So typically when you actually go back into the very uh, section here, which is where you'll be able to see your uh, the status of your book. So there's just three main statuses that you should remember here. Green is your book is currently good. Uh, yellow is something that the book is somewhat in progress or there's something happening uh in the background of your book but if you see something red on your book make sure to visit that book because there's something wrong and you need to fix something in there but yeah so that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video